Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. For today's video, we are getting into my March budget and we're actually going to be tracking all of my expenses for the first week in March. So the first week in March for me is March 1st through the 7th. I'm going to be using my expense tracker to write everything in and then I think I'm also going to add all of my expenses to my calendar. It probably seems redundant to write it in two places, but I want to get a visual for how often I'm spending money. In previous months, I've just stuck little no spend stickers down, but it's not giving me the full picture, I think. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try to make this quick. I have a ton of sinking fund transactions to write in. I've got some business transactions to write in. Plus, we just did a ton of spending in general this week. So let's just get started. And I'm going to go ahead and flip back to my expense tracker first. So you are looking at my um, March budget worksheets here. Uh, these are available in my Etsy shop under the Meadow Melody collection. I will have uh, my Etsy shop linked down below if you are interested in getting these printables for yourself. And I'm just going to start writing things in. I like to do an expense tracker per week. I don't worry about like the ending balance. I don't use this like a check register to keep track of how much is in my account. I just use it as a way to quickly jot down everything that I spent during the week. It makes it really easy for me to then fill in my monthly budget, which I have here as well. This is my monthly budget. It's a hybrid budget system. I budget both monthly and weekly. So this is like the first step in my weekly check-in. I like to break it up into two separate videos. You guys like shorter videos instead of one super long video. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to start out with... Um, the things I spent on March 1st, I'm using a Parku erasable pen in this fun green color to write my expenses in today. And on the first, the first transaction that we had was for our lot rent. So that's what I'm going to write under this transaction. And the category here is bills. I like to categorize all of my spending. It makes it really easy, again, to track everything and keep track of where my money is going. So for lot rent, we paid a total of $553. Also on the first, we paid our water bill. And that amount that I spent was 44 89 and then lastly for bills on the first we had our cable bill all three of these things actually get lumped together in one um, payment but I like to break them down individually on my expense tracker because while our lot rent and our cable are both fixed our water bill fluctuates and so I like to keep track of that just makes it easier for me all right and then also on the first we pulled out cash for our spending so we like to do our spending money in cash and so I just pull out hundred dollars that's 40 for myself 40 for my husband and 20 for my son's allowance and then lastly, on the first, we ordered some household items. So this transaction was Walmart. I made the order from Walmart. The category then will be household. And the amount that I spent was $103.75. We had to get a ton of things. Toilet paper, laundry detergent, paper towels, all of that stuff adds up. So that was a huge um, hit to our household budget right on the first day of the month. Um, <laughs> It is what it is. So moving on to the second, this is when I paid the rest of our bills for the week. So I paid HBO Max and so this category is bills and the amount that I paid for that was $15.84. We have so many streaming services and HBO Max is just one of them. We also paid my phone bill this day so this is through boost mobile and the amount that i paid was 120 dollars. that's for four lines of unlimited talk and text and data 
Then we also paid my camper payment this day. And so that category is bills as well. That was $200. And lastly, this day we picked up some groceries. So again, this was Walmart. I went in store and shopped just for what I needed for the week. It was a pretty low um, spend for us in terms of groceries. We spent $67.06. All right, so that was everything then on the second. On the third, we did a little bit of eating out. We went to McDonald's, my husband and I. We were actually car shopping this day. And while we were waiting for um, paperwork and stuff to come through, we ran to grab some McDonald's and that was, of course, eating out. And the amount we spent was $23.18. On the 4th, I had to get some gas, and you guys know gas prices are extraordinarily high right now. I think everywhere. Um, the at the pump today, uh, when I was driving by, I saw four dollars and twenty-five cents a gallon in my area. So yikes! Um, the cheapest gas in town is at the Murphy Station, which is the Walmart gas station, and I also get five cents off a gallon through my Walmart Plus membership there. So I needed gas. Um, the We got a new car this week and it only had a quarter of a tank. I should have insisted that the dealer fill it up, but I didn't even think about it. So um, I had to get gas and I didn't have enough gas to run to pick up my son from school and then go all the way to the Walmart to get gas. So I just threw $20 in it at our local station, which was more expensive, but I had to get gas to do what I needed to do. Um, and then you'll see the next day, I actually went to Murphy and filled up my tank. Um, but this was just like enough gas to get us through. Do you guys do that? Just throw in a little bit of gas at your local station to get to the station with the better price? Let me know. Um, then we had some miscellaneous expenses. So we went to Sunoco, and I think this was honestly a drink, but I can't remember for sure, so I just um, categorized it as miscellaneous. This was $3.14. And then we also purchased some uh, charger plugins for our car, um, and this could have come out of our car sinking fund, but we completely emptied our car sinking fund for the most part this week, so I decided instead to make this a miscellaneous expense as well. So this was from Amazon, and we bought two chargers with cords, and they were $23.30 total. Okay, moving on to the fifth. This is where we went ahead and filled up our gas tank the rest of the way. So that was the Murphy Station. Category is gas and the amount was $44. When I tell you guys that gas prices are super high right now, I am so, so glad I didn't lower my gas budget like I kind of talked about a little bit when I was writing my March budget. Um, the, the new car is the same make and model as our previous vehicle, but it's like the next generation. So they completely redesigned the Subaru Forester in 2019 um, with the, like a new platform and everything. That was the year we purchased, the 2019, and the gas tank's a little bit bigger. So it's going to cost a little bit more to fill it than the previous car anyway. And then with gas prices being super high, I'm really, really glad I didn't lower my gas budget. Um, and then... Also on this day, we had made a purchase, again through Amazon, for some new batteries for our keys for our car, the little um, round batteries. Again, this could have come out of our, ga our um, car sinking fund, but because we've used the heck out of that fund this week, which you will see when I kind of fill in my sinking funds transactions, uh, we just had this be a miscellaneous expense and it was 624. Okay, moving on to the 6th. Yes, I feel like we spent money every single day this week. I think we had just one no spend. 
Um, again, we went to Walmart to pick up groceries. So these groceries are technically for week two. Um, usually I would wait until Monday or Tuesday to do the shopping so it would have fallen in week two's expenses, but we had some free time on this day. I just went ahead and ordered the groceries knowing that my grocery expenditure for week one was going to be a little bit higher because of that, but then week two would be a little bit lower and it would all even out. So this was, again, Walmart. We always do our grocery shopping at Walmart. Occasionally we'll go to Meyer or Kroger to supplement, but we do the bulk of our shopping at Walmart because it's the cheapest place in town, even compared to like Aldi. Some things at Aldi are cheaper, but overall our bill at Aldi tends to be a little bit higher than at Walmart. Plus Walmart has a grocery pickup, which is just so super convenient. So for the grocery items that we picked up at Walmart, we spent $145.82, which I think is really good uh, for a week's worth of groceries right now, especially um, with prices being what they are. And then we also had a household expense at Walmart. We had to get a few more household type things. So definitely using and abusing our household budget right at the beginning of the month. That's probably going to jump up and bite us in the butt later, but you know, you got to get what you got to get. And that was 1831. We also had some sinking fund transactions there that you'll see in the sinking fund portion of this video. Um, and then this day we had to go take our car back to the dealer. We finished signing papers and we got, um, some maintenance done on it. While we were waiting for the maintenance, we went and grabbed lunch. So that was a Coney Island. And this would be eating out. And the amount was $29.95. Okay. So that was actually everything for our um, transactions for our typical budget. We did not have any spending on the 7th. Thank goodness, a no spend. So really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and go in and color code all of these things. I'm going to pull in all of my mild liners, which I have um, labeled with their various categories. And I just like to do this because it makes it easier to fill in my actual budget when it comes time to do the check-in. So we're going to start with bills, and I'm going to highlight all of the bills in blue. And where is my calculator? There we go. This is my little low-cock calculator, which I absolutely love. Just try to get everything in frame here. Hopefully you guys can see. I know it's a little bit bright, but I did the best I could with the lighting. So first we had lot rent, $5.53. We had water. $44.89. Then we had cable for $69. Um, we had HBO Max for $15.84. Boost at $120. Camper for $200. And I believe that was everything for bills. So, oh wow, I really overshot the um, highlighting there. I didn't need to go quite so far. But for bills, our total was $1,002 with 73 cents. And I'm gonna really quickly just add that up again just to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. $1,002.73. Okay, so that was everything for bills. For our spending money, we just did the $100 in cash. So that makes it real easy. I really like doing our spending money in cash. Um, it really helps us to stick to our spending budget. Next we have household, which is this orange color. So we had one transaction here for $103.75. And we had one more, right? Yep, right here for $18.31. So, oops. 
I like to do the highlighting first when possible so it doesn't smear the ink. That's why I'm doing that. So for household was 122.06. So our total household budget for the month is 150. <laughs> so if we need anything else throughout the month, it might be pretty tight, but I think we'll be okay. All right, next up we have grocery, which is this gold color. So we had 67.06 plus 145.82. For a total of two twelve eighty eight, so that's not too bad for two weeks. Um, we may still have to shop a little bit more during week two, but we got the bulk of what we needed, so that's not terrible at all, especially all things considered. All right, next we have eating out, which is this yellow color. So we had twenty three eighteen. At McDonald's and then we had that $29.95 at Coney Island for a total of $53.13. I think when I wrote my budget I said I wanted to try to keep my eating out at about $50 a week so we're a tiny touch over that but not terrible. So we're on track there for the most part. Um, for gas We had 20 plus 44, and I am already down to less than half a tank left, so I'm probably going to have to fill up again this week. Gas is just tough right now. So for gas, we had 64, and then lastly is miscellaneous, which is this green color. So we had quite a few miscellaneous transactions just because, like I said, that um, car sinking fund is pretty much empty at the moment. Which is a dangerous game to play because it is the beginning of the month. Um, who knows what car type things we might need throughout the month, but it is um, a new to us car, so hopefully we don't need anything. And if we do, we'll just kind of wing it. It's not a new car. It's a 2019 that we purchased, but it's new to us, and it just had all its maintenance and everything done, so hopefully we'll be okay. Um, so this was miscellaneous at $32.68. So I'm going to get a total quickly. $1,273 plus $100 plus $122.06. Plus $212.88 plus $53. 13 plus 64 plus 32 is 1587 dollars with 48 cents okay so that's it for our regular budget now let me go ahead and flip over to our sinking funds so i can write those in um but yeah we had quite a bit of spending this week and i think i will go ahead and fill these in um in my calendar like I said but I'll probably do that off camera because this video is getting lengthy and I know you guys prefer shorter videos so I'll probably do that just on my own time and I'll show you guys what that looks like all right so for sinking funds this is my sinking fund transaction log by the way on this page I keep track of our beginning balance which this beginning balance is actually wrong I need to go in and change it I wrote the beginning balance from February instead of the ending balance from February. You guys know the ending balance from the previous month is the beginning balance for this month, but I just wrote in the wrong number. So this is not right. Ignore that. But this is the page we're working with today. So we had a ton of sinking fund spending on the 5th, 6th, and 7th of the month. So on March 5th, we used our subscriptions sinking fund and we had our Amazon Prime renewal. So that was $127. Um, I've just rounded all of these up to the nearest dollar. We're not going to be messing around with change with this anymore. I keep all of my sinking funds in cash and it's just way easier to round up. Um, so that took care of that. Amazon Prime 
price has gone up so it will be more expensive next year which is such a bummer it seems like everything is going up um then we used our home projects sinking fund which when i set this home project sinking fund up i sort of figured i would use it for fixing things around the house or painting or whatever um I actually used this fund though to buy a new remote for our fire stick because we managed to lose the back of our remote that covers the batteries and the batteries keep falling out. So I don't know if it really should technically have come out of our home projects or if it should have come from household, but because we've used so much of our household sinking fund already, I made the decision to pull it out of here. Um, and it cost $23, which I think is ridiculous, but it is what it is. Um, Next up on the 6th, from my personal care sinking fund, I bought some body wash in that Walmart order, and it was $7. And I'm just going to actually write a note to myself what this was for, body wash. This was for a remote. This was for Prime. All right. On the 6th as well, that same Walmart order we pulled from our medical sinking fund. I purchased some medical type things in that order as well. And that was $13 for some melatonin. All right. Next then, this was the day that we bought um, our Subaru... Um, I don't know if it was this day we bought the Subaru, but this was the day that I pulled all the money out of our car sinking fund. So we pulled out, um, $500 from our car sinking fund to add to, uh, the down payment that we had for our car. So I'm just going to write down payment. And then we also pulled out $300 for um Subaru Starlink so that's um the I don't know how to describe it it's like the app that they use to keep track of vehicle maintenance you can also remote start the car from that um it was three hundred dollars for three years so we went ahead and got that deal and that came out of our car sinking fund as well and that sort of um wiped out our car sinking fund. It's pretty much empty now. I think there's like $22 or something in there. Um, then on the 6th, I used our clothing sinking fund. I bought a shirt from Stitch Fix for $32. And lastly, I used our subscription sinking fund to um, sign up for Epics, which is a streaming service that there's a show on there that I'm really loving called From. So I went ahead and signed up so that I could continue watching that. So that is it then for our sinking fund transactions. It was a lot of spending this week for sure. All right, the very last of the spending I'm gonna go ahead and write in here is my business spending. I use this monthly budget worksheet to keep track of my small business. That is um, my Etsy shop and my YouTube channel. So I'll just keep track of the income as it comes in. Um, I don't know if I have my total right off the top for the first week of the month, but I can look it up and I'll go ahead and write that in here while we're at it as well. So for my first paycheck from Etsy, I'm paid through Etsy every single week on Tuesday, and then I get paid just once a month from YouTube. But the way that I do it is I don't spend any of this money. I kind of save it all up throughout the month, and then at the end of the month, I kind of allocate it out. So any business expenses that I have go on a credit card, at the end of the month, I'll take all of the income, I'll pay my expenses, I'll track my tax money um, and set that aside for when I have to pay taxes, and then whatever's left is my take-home pay, and that'll get added to my family budget. So my first paycheck of March was actually on the 1st, which was Etsy, and the amount that I brought in was 
153.47. So that's that. And then for this first week of expenses, I had just two transactions. So on the 6th, I had um, my Canva membership, and that was... $12.99 and then on the 7th I had to pay some postage to send some mail and that was $1.30. So that is it for my business transactions. I'm trying to keep my business expenses this month pretty low because I'm expecting my pay to be a little bit lower than usual. Um, YouTube, I didn't have a great month on YouTube last month so my YouTube paycheck's not going to be um, what it usually is. So I'm just trying to keep the expenses low to make up for that. Okay, so that is all of the spending. The only other thing I have to do, like I said, is fill in those same expenses I wrote in here in my calendar. I'm going to do that off camera, but then I'll come and kind of come back and show you guys what that looks like and we'll wrap up this video. Okay, so there is a look at my calendar all filled in. I just used my highlighters, the same colors of the categories, and just essentially transferred the information from my expense tracker onto my calendar just so I can get an overall visual of where my money went on which day. Um, I used to do this all the time with stickers in my calendar. This used to be the primary way that I tracked my expenses. And I just want to kind of try it out again for March and see how I like it. So leave me a comment down below and let me know how do you want to see me track my expenses? Do you want to see me do what I did today, fill in my expense tracker? Or would you rather see me fill in my calendar with my expenses? I don't, I mean, if you want to see both, you can let me know that as well. But I feel like it might be a bit redundant. Um, so just kind of let me know which way you would prefer to see the expenses laid out. Um, I primarily do this expense tracking video to keep myself accountable, to actually force myself to track. Um, but you guys seem to really enjoy the video too, and I just want to kind of show you what you would find most helpful to see. Um, I don't really do these budget videos to teach you anything. Um, it's mostly, like I said, just my journey to keep me accountable, but still I wanted to show you guys what you want to see so let me comment down below let me know write out my expenses in my calendar for these videos or on my expense tracker I'm gonna do both but you know like I said you let me know all right enough rambling that's it for today's video that's everything I spent in the first week of March make sure you check back here tomorrow for my budget check-in where I take all of this information and plug it into my monthly budget and we kind of see how we're doing so far in the month of March. Um, that's a super helpful part of my budget journey as well. So don't forget to check out my Etsy shop link down below if you're interested in any of these printables. Thank you so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. That really helps out my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and I will see you guys next time. Bye friends!